Hi, I'm Jonathan Matt Mendes, Painted Love, and today I've teamed up with Dunelm to create some crafty Christmas projects. Welcome to my home workshop. Let's get stuck in. For today's Christmas project, I'm going to create an advent calendar using an old fireplace garland. Now many of you may not have a fireplace at home. I do, and I love dressing my fireplace, but for you guys that don't have one, why not create your very own advent calendar? Let's take a look at some of the materials. Here I have a broom handle, a garland, and some faux foliage. Now this is my treat to myself this year from Dunelm. Every year I buy a little bit more of this. I bought this last Easter, so this might be good for the project. We'll see when we get to that point. All I'm doing is spreading, splaying out the branches, so I've got a track in the middle. Um, I want to leave a little bit of over overhang at the end, and I'm just going to place the pole in, into the centre of that, and then I'm just going to take, every now and again, I'm just going to take two branches and twist round. Two branches and twist round. And then you have the basis of your garland, wall hanging garland, ready to receive your faux foliage once it's applied to the wall. So now I'm turning my attention to the parcels. Now I've been really clever and I've bought small presents that are in box shapes. Um, this was a trio from Dunelm. I'm gonna break it down. I think they'll be far better as uh, individual presents. Um, I'm gonna start with using uh, this gorgeous reed diffuser. Don't forget we've got 24 of these to do. All 24 parcels are wrapped. All we need to do is hold them together with this gorgeous Dunelm ribbon. And we're just gonna do it in a simple up and over, crossed at the top and back down. I'm gonna tuck the string under there so it comes from a central point and tie in a knot. This is gonna be to hold our advent number and the top half to the garland. Now to add your advent numbers, I've made one I cut it to the perfect shape and I'm going to draw around it and repeat, repeat, repeat. I'm going to take the card and just simply cut out the shape. Taking my time, I'm using um, Rust-Oleum's furniture paint in a natural charcoal finish. And I'm going to place the stencil in the centre of my tag. I'm going to pick up just a little bit of paint and then with a bit of card, in a stipple motion, offloading the paint, we can then tap in the number. So I'm going through all of the tags, applying a hole. So the short end of the string, just get it to balance out in the middle of each parcel and tie it off. We can cut off the excess, make sure that's nice and neat. So now, we're ready to hang. Just going to tie into the pre-drilled screw so it's nice and secure. Now to add the parcels. I'm going to start with my biggest parcel and I'm just going to hang it in the centre. I'm using the branches to tie these two. So when adding your parcel, always make sure you add the numbers in a random fashion. This means when removing each parcel through the days of December, you will get an even spread when they come down. Finally, all I'm doing is removing the excess strings, making sure not to cut the ones that are hanging the gifts. All of the excess I will use for wrapping more parcels. We're now at the final flourish. All of the parcels are hung. Now for the best bit, adding your faux foliage. So I'm just adding the branches as we did with the broom pole, using the, the garland to hold into place. So this is my new purchase for this year. It's Dunalm's Faded Feather Flock. And I just think it's got that real wintry feel to it. So I'm gonna go with this, because I love it. And build it up, see how we go. 
Right, so this one is Dusty Miller Spray, a lovely neutral grey, and I think this is gorgeous. Final flourish is the Rose Hip Spray, which is going to go kind of in and drooping over. So I hope you've enjoyed the construction of the advent calendar. All that's left to do now is enjoy the parcels as you open them through the days of December. Once you've done that, replace with a gorgeous Dunelm bauble and it should look good all the way through to Christmas Day. If you've enjoyed today's tutorial, please like, pass a comment or even better subscribe. I'd love to see you next time.